the Dean Blundell Show's 10th birthday party. It was 10 years ago today that the Dean Blundell Show debuted on Toronto Radio. Emerging from the poisoned air of the oil sands of Fort McMurray, Alberta, and further stunted by whatever drifted across the Detroit River into Windsor, Dean first appeared on The Edge on April 21st, 2001. I didn't hire him, so don't look at me. I was, however, his boss for almost five years. And those were good times. There was the time someone from the show hit a big block of cheese in the heating ducts of my office. The place smelled like baby vomit for weeks. Someone filed a Human Rights Commission complaint on behalf of Metis because of the way he was being treated on the show. When I was on vacation, Dean thought it would be fun if Derek, who was blind of course, were to drive an ATV down Young Street during morning rush hour. Somehow my boss thought this was my fault and I got in trouble for it. And who could forget the live national TV broadcast featuring Shania Twain at Young Dundas Square when Todd held up a hand-lettered sign that seemed to spell her last name T-W-A-T. Yes, these were good times. I lost hair, developed a chronic heart palpitation, and began drinking at breakfast. There were more than 100 official complaints to the broadcast authorities, and lawsuits filed against the show totaled more than $4 million. Yet here's a stunning fact. The Dean Blundell Show is the longest-lasting of any morning show that has ever appeared on The Edge or CFNY or whatever you want to call it. It's outlasted three program directors, three general managers, and three radio division presidents. So, complain all you want. This program's going to outlast you. It's the Dean Blundell Show's 10th birthday party on 102.1. It is Thursday, the 21st day of April, uh, the day before Good Friday, which I was talking to someone about yesterday. It's a really terrible Friday, actually, for Jesus. <laughs> you know, it's when he died, right? Yeah, it had to happen. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I doubt he's looking down at everybody with the day off tomorrow going, oh, yeah, good Friday for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, Awful Friday for me. The horrible one. Why, oh, yeah. <laughs> why, why, now, why did they call it good Friday? Then? Well, was, it, was it the sort of the No, rebirth? when they were putting the nails in his hands, yeah. uh, the, 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 the guards turned around and uh, they looked at each other and went, hey, good job. Oh, I see. High-fived each other. <laughs> Oh, let's make him a crown and make it. Oh, okay. Put it on his head. Oh, that was a good crown. Good job. She was like, this is a great Friday. So Not this, great. Because it's dark. Because yeah. it got dark because uh, God was mad, right? Yeah. And he's like, you made the, the, the sky they, dark. And then he's like. Rip the curtain. Yeah. They were going to call it uh, Groovy Friday. But, groovy. Yeah. Well, like did, in back today, in the 60s and 70s, yeah. I think there was real push for Groovy Friday. Yeah. And, and, and today, kind of faded day, like in the, in, the, in the sort of the gang wars, right? Like yeah. if you do that type of, 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 of murder, it would be like Sick Friday. That was Fat. sick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or a bogus Friday if you're Jesus. That was bogus. Totally, I wonder dude. if he said that on the cross. <laughs> like, this is This is bogus. bogus. Because you know he just wanted a joint that day, right? Oh, man, yeah. you know it would go really nice with this crown of thorns and this hole in my side and these na- nails in my butt? A doobie. <laughs> I should have smoked before I get started carrying this wood. <laughs> I'm going to die. I'm going to die in a crash now. Uh, anyway, good morning. It's uh, nine minutes after six. In our 10th anniversary today, uh, or our celebration of the 10th anniversary, actually not till Saturday, but... Uh, we're excited. It, it's a, we, I came in this morning. There was a Justin Bieber VIP party poster here. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, there are some beverages here. I know about those. Beverages? Yeah, they're right behind you. Um, also, there's uh, balloons and streamers, and our, our staff was nice to put a pin a tail on the donkey poster. And one of my favorite things is Adjwa's here, too. She's actually in studio with us. Usually she's at Buttonville Airport. Hi, Adjwa. Hey, how you doing? God, you look good. Doesn't she? Yeah, it's weird because like I I know I I know I sexually harass you verbally on <laughs> on 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 the phone, but like seeing you and I gave her a hug. Did you hug her? I I gave her a little bit of a hug. Yeah, I, had, <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't get too close. There's no denying it. <laughs> There's no denying what you're dealing with there, and they're good. They're average. <laughs> it's hard to get your arms around her. Yeah, right? like to hug yeah. That's what I, it's well, just... when I started a motorboater too, she was it was like I got my nose stuck in there and. Don't remember that. Yeah, you do. Don't remember no, she was wearing a leather coat. It was done up to the top when she hugged me. <laughs> wearing, wearing hockey gear? Got no, it was, yeah, it was, it was. It was like it was like a protective hazmat suit <laughs> against me. She, she looked like Ray in those Dickard videos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did now, now did you, you got to, you did your hair today? I see. Um, honestly, I just 
did a curl back. That's it. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. You just did. What's a curl back? I don't understand what a curl back is. I just is. took a curling iron and curled the front. The back? Thing. Yeah, curled Thus the curl back. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the curl back. Um, and, and you look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Um, and really hot. Doing what I can for you. It's 10th it, anniversary. Yeah, it is. But were you hoping to pick up here today? Is that? <laughs> no, I was not hoping. Oh, you're, you're just sure? Here today. You're just going to see Pretty people you don't normally. But when women get dressed up like you're dressed up today, I know it's our 10th tenth, uh-huh. tenth anniversary, and you've been with us for six, seven years now? Six. Can you believe it? Wow, six, six years. Let's give her a hand. She was the, what, the poorly pay, paid employee? Or moderately, the moderately, moderately. Moderately paid employee. How's that going right. now? Is it still moderate? Uh, it's, it's, it's okay. It went down to poorly. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, but that, that, that's an, it's a nice story because um, you, you uh, won a contest, right? Why don't you t- tell us about that, how you became to come on the show? Well, I'd always been listening to uh, The Edge for a very, very long time, and I was already in radio. I was working at another company, and uh, somebody told me, you should apply for this. It's right up your alley. So I applied, went through the whole process, met a couple of people along the way, ended up in uh, new, we had to go up in a helicopter, fly yeah. around Toronto. Which since has crashed. <laughs> Which crashed. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. They were doing a test flight in like Kitchener, Waterloo. They went up once, went up twice, propellers, propellers stopped in midair, and it just went down. Oh, like a rock. That's a tough one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Thank God you weren't on that for yeah. the test flight. No, yeah. but you told that, you know, so on a serious note, you told a great story about that, how the uh, the pilot turned the helicopter towards his side yeah, to land did. on him so he would take the, take most of the fall. The brunt, so the mechanic yeah. wouldn't get injured. And, and the, to this day, he, uh, pilot's a good guy. He uh, still to this day, he can't really, he can't, well, he's never going to be able to fly again, which was his passion. So Oh, wow, that's too bad. But. Yeah. And people have been trying to fly for years. I put on these these wings the other day and jumped off my roof. Scotch tape. Yeah. Did it work? Didn't work? No. Okay. <laughs> no go? No. I just landed in the pool. <laughs> cool, man. Yeah, it was Thank good. God you have a yeah. pool, eh, bud? Well, I, was, yeah. I was hammered and, and stoned, so I just say, I'm a, I'm a bird. <laughs> Uh, so six, six, so you, you apply for the contest, a moderately paid employee, and, yeah. and you know what's funny is that the second, I'm not kidding you, yeah. we listened to all those tapes and every, everybody that wanted to do our traffic, yeah. and you were by far, by far the most qualified and the best at it. Thank you so much. And you still are. We love you. Thank you. Love you too. Great. Not even the one I was hand blasting during it? Oh, I remember her, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that pig. <laughs> Wasn't that the one that whizzed on your car? Yeah. yeah. Good call. Yeah, good no. yeah. call. Yeah, that's how you got the job, Edge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Car. <laughs> yeah, that girl wasn't the smartest. Uh, no. Oh. No, she wasn't. Still I saw, isn't, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. No. I saw, a, I saw a great <laughs> brains. I saw a great video of her um, at Todd's Cottage. Do you remember that video? Holding up the boobies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then Todd put a banana in the scene, too. No. <laughs> <laughs> this poor girl. Uh, well, listen, we're happy to have you here today with us. We appreciate it. Thanks. Congratulations. Thank you guys. very much. And you, too. Ten years, man. Ten, ten years. The Dean Blundell Show's 10th birthday party. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Here's a birthday wish for you. <laughs> this one's for my heart. From Chi Min Cheng to you. Happy birthday to you, Team Bandar Show. Happy birthday to you, Talks of Hero. Congratulations on your 10 year anniversary. Thanks, Team Bandar Show, for all the laughs you're giving. The verbal battles you're winning. The way you deal with people who are dumb. You make our morning so much fun. We thank you. So much! Make it down now! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! It's the Dean Blundell Show's 10th birthday party on 102.1. Happy birthday! Yeah. There's a bunch of stuff going on today. And I, I gotta be honest, Derek, and I, I don't know a whole lot about it. Uh, so maybe you can uh, not only just tell people what's coming up now, but some of the stuff that you can say that we're doing today. Uh... Because I can, I, that's the truth. Like Todd and I know nothing. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We, no, we just have, we just have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, messages from people, either live or pre-recorded. We have uh, great people like Chris Pandoff, who happens to be here right now. Ask kisser. See him doing that, right? Yeah, yeah oh, just right on. And, right and, on and, the and just a gem of a man, Dave Farrell, coming in later <laughs> on this hour. Ask too. Kisser. <laughs> <laughs> He's a wonderful. <laughs> um, and uh, a band coming up after nine, oh, and good. a special phone calls coming in as well. Um, 
But uh, the first thing I want to do today is uh, play something. And I don't know if a lot of the listeners know, but you come from a radio family. Mm-hmm. Your dad's in radio, mm-hmm. and uh, he actually left us a, uh, a very uh, a message for you specifically, but also for the show. And I'd like to play that for you right oh, now, if no. I could. Hey, Ross, this is Jim Blundell. This is a message for Dean's show. Counting down. Three, two, one. <laughs> hey, Deaner, it's your old man. Yeah, it's your dad. I bet you're starting to sweat now, aren't you? Now you know how your mother and I feel every day when you go on the air. <laughs> Listen, I understand it's your 10th year of being at the edge. Bit of a birthday. Well, I want to congratulate you and Todd. That's quite an accomplishment uh, to have done what you guys do every day in uh, Canada's largest radio market uh, and have as much fun as you do. That's terrific. But the reason for my call is that uh, I wanted to tell a couple of stories uh, that your listeners may not have heard about, um, like the time that you craft your pants at Niagara Falls. I I don't know if you ever told that story. Um, But anyway, I have, and I feel better for it. Um, I don't know also if you mentioned to your audience that there was a time in your life when you had your hair permed uh, so that you look like Michael Jackson. And at that same time, you, you, uh, you had this glove, this little white glove with sequences all, with sequence all over it, and you wore it all the time. No. Yeah, I'm I, sort of wondering if you've told that story to your audience. Uh, but anyway, the reason for the call is just to uh, congratulate you both and uh, to let you know that I'm your biggest fan, always have been, always will be. I, and uh, just to end the call, I, uh, I said to your mom, I said, hey, I'm going to leave a message for Dean's show. Is there anything you want me to tell him? And so she said, yeah, tell him to eat dirt. You probably know where that comes from. <laughs> Take care, my friend. Have a great day. <laughs> well, that's nice, huh? That was nice. I never crapped my pants in Niagara Falls, uh, just for the record. Oh, yeah, you're gonna, sure. Dude, the first story. time I was in Niagara Falls, yeah. I was like 29 years old, so I'm not going to crap my pants when I'm 29. Well, you're probably at a bachelor party. It makes all the sense <laughs> in the world. It was yeah. a shark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's nice. Huh? It sounded like he had a cold. He's not well, maybe. He sounds like Tony Curtis. No, he's, he's, I don't think he's feeling great because he just turned 60, so I think he was on a bender. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm going to see him today because it's his 60th, uh, so I'm, I'm going to fly out and see him and, and uh, promptly kick him in square in his useless genitals. Well, you told us about the Michael Jackson in the past, though. So. Yeah, I'm not You have told us about that. But I never crap yeah. my pants at Niagara Falls. So we, <laughs> you're that's really the one you're stuck on, eh? No. What's the your eat dirt thing? Oh, my mom, um, when I was a kid, she'd... <laughs> my I get whatever sense of humor I have or lack thereof from my mother because my mother is... Uh, very, very funny lady. And she said uh, when I was like 10 or 12, instead of saying goodnight, she started poking her head in the room when it was nice and dark and went, eat dirt. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that child abuse? Uh, pretty much, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it, no, she would. Like she a would red rum sort of thing? Red scary. Yeah, yeah. Eat dirt. <laughs> and she's British, so it sounded a little bit classy. <laughs> eat dirt. <laughs> Yeah, as a 60-year-old woman, imagine that, huh? <laughs> then she sent me a Christmas card with her and my dad, and they both had their fingers in their nose. <laughs> That's fact. That's cool. Yeah, That's they're cool awesome. people. Yeah, yeah. And they're still married and like each other, which is bizarre. Because I'm 13 years in, and I have had it. <laughs> <laughs> ten years, man! Ten, ten years! The Dean Blundell Show's 10th birthday party. Happy birthday, happy birthday, here's a birthday wish for you. Hey, it's Josie Dye. So the guys have been around for 10 years here at The Edge, and I've known them for about eight years. And in that time, they've left me a lot of gifts. For instance, poop in the toilet weekly. They call that a present. Um, Gas smells that are disgusting. Once they left me a pair of Porn Stars undies on my radio board, which was awesome. Often they'll email me YouTube clips and tell me to watch, and then someone naked just kind of jumps out at me. As you can imagine, I've gotten a little on edge over the last few years. I have met more porn stars than a young, innocent girl from Pickering should ever be introduced to. I've had uh, the boys from Jackass pee on, or at least close to my sandals, while I was quietly waiting for the morning show to finish up. And I've even seen Todd and Midas's... Because, of course, I was in the room, and yeah... 
Obviously, you know why. Thank God they love their baby wipes, and they usually spend about five minutes every morning wiping down the remains of the porn stars from the studio. So, guys, I want to say thank you to that. And honestly, I pretty much spend every single morning wondering how I'm going to come on after their show because it's so awesome. It's gold. It's always been gold. It'll always be gold. I am that person in the car on the way to work laughing my ass off, and I look over to the person beside me who's doing the same thing, and I feel like we're all part of this really cool, fun club. So thank you guys for keeping my morning entertained. Happy birthday, happy birthday. It's the Dean Blundell Show's 10th birthday party on 102.1. Happy birthday, The Edge. This is your yeah. Edge it. Hold it. Files <laughs> with Dean Blundell right. on The Edge. Police in Kitchener, Ontario said officers arrested a woman Sunday who was driving uh, while only partially dressed with a wet bird <laughs> flying loose in her car. And she wondered what she was doing with the bird. Because it was wet? Yeah. yeah. Uh, 3.16 p.m. in the afternoon, the 58-year-old woman was driving down a street while continuously blowing her horn. Concern for the driver's well-being. If she can do that and drive at the same time, that's something. <laughs> You've never done that while driving? Blowing my own horn? <laughs> no. I can't because it's illegal, right? You have to have something to blow your horn at. Like, you know, there's got to be an emergency. You can't just walk it around and just honking. Anyway, she was doing that. Uh, police said the car didn't uh, stop, and it hit a city bus, then another vehicle, both of which were parked, while the woman got out and said, What happened? <laughs> <laughs> no one was injured. Police said the driver wasn't going in excessive speed, and alcohol wasn't a factor. She's just uh, got some uh, dementia issues. Humane Society officials caught the wet bird and are caring, caring for it, and the woman was given pants and taken to the hospital. Really? Yeah, I wasn't wearing pants either. Hey, it's weird, though, that the bird would, like, fly and hit the inside of the windshield, eh? (laughs) (laughs) Maybe that's what she was doing. Maybe she's getting a kick out of it. (laughs) Yeah? Try and get out. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Authorities said a boy dressed in camouflage was shot while turkey hunting with his father. Let's let's read that line again. (laughs) Authorities said of who's four... (laughs) Uh, was uh, dressed in camouflage and was shot while turkey hunting with his father. <laughs> yeah. Hey, bud, you know what we're going to do? We're yeah. going to go turkey hunting. Okay, Dad. <laughs> okay, Daddy. Yeah. Put on this stuff that looks like everything else out there. There's <laughs> some feathers. <laughs> and don't smile. <laughs> and go like this. <laughs> uh, he's going to be fine. He was shot with buckshot by another hunter who said he, swear to God, that kid looked like a turkey. He had some uh, shotgun pellets in his arm and leg and was responsive, and he's going to be just fine. Uh, the the uh, boy's father said he, quote, couldn't find an extra orange vest, and he figured he could protect him if he just wore one. That's a good dad, huh? No. No, no it's not <laughs> a good dad. A good, not, not good hunter judgment either. Oh, wait, did he dress him in camouflage or dress him like a turkey? Uh, well, I, I, I don't think okay, it matters okay. if he's in camouflage, right? Because you, yeah. you, in, in the states, what they do is they sh- they hear and then they shoot. Oh, I see. Whatever the sound is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, which is the same thing that happened in a small town in Colorado. Only it happened in someone's house. A domestic dispute. Police arrived. Uh, found a man on the ground with a bullet wound directly in his forehead, completely stone dead. His wife said, <laughs> "That's a good one." They had had an argument that day, and he left the house. And then when she, when he came back, she thought she was being robbed, so she walked up to him and asked who it was. She said, "It's your husband." She says, "I don't think so," and shot him right in the forehead. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good excuse. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> "Look like a robber." <laughs> <laughs> He's a, yeah, police don't believe her. Oh, I <laughs> yeah. So she's gone to jail, too. Uh, those are your Edge Files. Whatever the hell day it is in April, the year 2011. The Edge Files. On 102.1. The Edge. Edge. The Dean Blundell Show. Celebrating a decade of being around for a decade. The Dean Blundell Show's 10th birthday party on 102.1 The Edge. It's a pleasure to introduce uh, not just the uh, president of radio for our, our whole company, uh, Mr. Chris Pandoff. Uh, nice to see you, Chris. Uh, thank you, boys. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming in. I know it's early for you. You don't like to wheel in here until about 9 because you're on some kind of crazy jag. But <laughs> <laughs> but thanks for coming in. Nice to see you. Uh, good to see you guys, and uh, happy 10th anniversary. I, it's weird, eh? Did you think after all the lawsuits in the last several years you'd, you'd, we'd, we'd still be here? 
Well, Suzanne's in charge of those now, so I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, thank you very much, and it's nice to see you. And, and, uh, and you know, it's 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 fun because we have such a good relationship with um, the management because we've been here a long time. And I believe, if, if I'm not correct, we've had four general managers and three program directors. <laughs> So we're doing okay, right? Over yeah. 10 years, that's not a bad schedule, right? So, yeah. <laughs> well, it's weird because we have to keep breaking you guys in. Yeah, well, you get us promoted all the time, too, so that's a good part oh, of it. Yes. That's ah. right. Thank you very much. You, all, all of you guys have been on this huge upward swing yeah, since oh, we started. Totally, uh, totally. <laughs> See? because we can't stand you, so we get the hell out. Yeah. Uh, and this is Dave Farrell. He uh, is the VP of Programming for Chorus Entertainment. And a good story, Dave, uh, Dave actually hired me 10 years ago. Uh-huh. And me too. You hired me eight it's a, years ago. Just so you know, it's not wow. really about you it's right now. It's not the Derek Wellsman. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you know, it's nice to have you back. It is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's great to have him back. So, w- if you could tell a couple of quick stories, Dave, um, oh. about w- why you hired uh, me, and then oh. and then why you almost fired me. Well, the truth of the matter is that you and I met on the internet. Oh, oh that's chat so site. cute. Yeah. <laughs> we met on the internet. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I didn't know what he looked like, but if he showed me a picture of his genitals, I'd know him for sure. <laughs> I was looking for a new morning show host for The Edge, and uh, I was listening around to radio stations on the internet. Mm-hmm. And I tuned in this radio station in Windsor, and I heard this guy on the radio, and he was doing this, this thing where he was talking to his cat, and it was stuck behind the dryer. Do you remember this? this was, and this you were was... talking to your pussy, and it was... <laughs> no, bitch. It, it, oh. Different. Yeah. <laughs> I never yeah. thought those words oh. would come out of his... Let's give him a I know. Hey, hey, hey. I know. Yeah. Right with the we're president next to him. Talking to him. <laughs> we're talking He's to making my life tough these days. <laughs> <laughs> you were talking uh, to your kitty cat behind the dryer. It was a prank call where... It was, a, it was a, a place down... I know exactly what it was. Some guy placed an ad saying he found a cat and wanted to return it to somebody. So I called and I said, that might be my cat. His name is Bitch. All right. Remember that? Yes. Now oh, remember. can you yell? Did you so get anyway, him to I that thought, one? you know what? This, there's something here. Mm-hmm. So maybe I should get a hold of this guy. And then you and I uh, met. I think you and your lovely, what do you call her? Your roommate. roommate. Yeah. You mm-hmm. and your roommate came up to Toronto mm-hmm. for a nice dinner. Dropped lovely since then, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, here's the reality. I've met this woman so many times. Yeah. In fact, we were just out for lunch a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. She is such a sweetheart. And I can't believe the things you say about her. But anyway, that's a whole separate I know. Thing. Well, it's clear she doesn't listen to the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's Wayne and Schuster. <laughs> anyway, we met on the internet. Uh, we had a nice dinner. Um, I thought there's something here, so here you are. And and honestly, it's it it surprises me that ten years have gone by. Well, does it surprise you ten years have gone by, or surprise you that I'm still here? Yeah, well. <laughs> Because there's, no. a, there's a good story. I, I, I had a little rebellious phase, and, and Chris, you'll be happy that Dave broke me of this. <laughs> okay. You'd be very happy. Okay. He's I, like, broke you of this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we came back with no fish. <laughs> no. Uh, Dave, no. Dave, uh, I, was, I was doing the whole, I don't care, I'll do whatever show I want thing, and this is like about six, seven months into it, and Dave, uh, do you remember what we did? Do you, you remember you took me to a restaurant? That's right. We went out for lunch. And what, do you remember what you said to me? Will you go ahead and regale the story? Because you don't remember, do you? <laughs> <laughs> so we go for lunch, and Dave, uh, Dave says to me, okay, we really have some problems now. And I said, what are those problems? And he goes, well, if you're going to continue to do what you do, we're, we're going to have some problems. And this is six months into it. And I'm like, whatever, I'm the man. <laughs> <laughs> and then I read between the lines, which was, if you don't start doing what we ask you to do, you won't have a job here anymore. And then he said something. He said, you don't know what you don't know. And I'm like, whatever, tips. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. Uh, Dave, Dave actually, like, um, you, you, you essentially allowed me to be a part of the morning show. I know I was, you know, I was, I was kissing Dean's butt every single day, but right. you sort of said, okay, you know what, we'll help make you a fixture there. Uh-huh. So I owe a lot to you as well. And, and, and one of my favorite stories about you, if you don't mind me saying, is when you gave me my first raise. I don't know if you remember this. <laughs> <laughs> this was awesome. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead and tell this story. So, Chris, you'll be proud of me for this. Yeah, okay. you, I'm good at saving the corporate dollars. Yeah. <laughs> and, and again, I'm very supportive of the company and things are great. But my first raise, I was making $22,000, okay? Whoa, and, yeah. I, and I mean, I was like a 30-year-old guy. Like, I started radio late. Yeah. And, and, and Dave uh, pulled me aside. He goes, you know, you've been doing wonderful work. You've been helping out uh, Dean uh, greatly. And we, we all appreciate everything you're doing at the corporation. And we're going to write down and we're going to give you your first race. 
And I'm so pumped, right? He wrote it down and slid it across the table. <laughs> Keep in mind, 22 grand. You know, anything would be great right now. 22.5. After taxes, that's less than a dollar a day for a year. Hey, here's the best part. You can he do took a lot it. for a dollar a day. Yeah, I did. Yeah. You can do a lot for a dollar a day. And he said, sure, that looks great. Yeah. Uh, well, listen, we uh, we appreciate you guys um, coming down, and, and, and more importantly, we, we appreciate you guys uh, supporting us over the past yeah. uh, through... Uh, complaints and th- there's been a couple lawsuits, but um, at corporately you, you won't find a better group of people, and I mean that. And I've said it to both you guys, so we love you and appreciate you, and it's yeah. a great family to be part and of. We love we love working with you guys. We really do. Yeah, well, thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, best of luck. <laughs> Uncle Derek, call us corporate whores. Uh, you on. guys are a bunch of corporate whores. <laughs> Get out of here, you disgust me, you corporate whores. <laughs> Go suck from the corporate teat, <laughs> you whores. Get out of here, honest to God. I love you, man. <laughs> You're nothing but a scurvy spider, <laughs> Mr. Potter. <laughs> Boy, I bet you that felt good, huh? <laughs> not, many, not many employees get to call the president and the VP of programming corporate whores. And I don't think many more will. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, 648, come on down. Join us for the 10th anniversary special. We're here at edge.ca. You can listen online, and uh, you can see us at 25 Dockside. USS performing live this morning. A lot more guests, a lot more folks. And uh, I, I'm, I'm, almost, I'm almost positive there's something gay going on here today. And I don't mean that in, I mean that in, the, in a cheesy, because I, I, someone's not telling me something. Huh. I, don't, I don't want to get into it, but I have a feeling I know what it might be. I said no cheese today. I didn't want any cheese, but I think there's going to be some cheese factor today, which is good. <laughs> ten years, man. Ten, ten years. The Dean Blundell Show's 10th birthday party. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Here's a birthday wish for you. Hey, guys, congratulations on 10 years. And, you know, with the occasion happening this morning, I wanted to prepare and give you a really nice toast. Seeing it's Passover and I can't use bread, I'll have to give you a matzah. Congratulations, guys. 10 more happy and healthy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's the Dean Blundell Show's 10th birthday party on 102.1. Happy birthday. The Edge. Time for some listener email. Uh, welcome to our 10th anniversary show. And a special thank you to uh, Derek Meat and Marlo, who did just a ton of work. Derek was here till 6.30 yesterday. 6.30. Thank you, Derek. Keep you mind wow. now, here at quarter to five in the morning. So, yeah, it is. Well, you don't, you don't got to rub in your hero. No, no, I'm just saying because most people do work till 6.30. It's not a big deal for regular people. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's people. good point. It's about when you yeah. start. Yeah, I just yeah, thought yeah. you were trying to tell everybody how much of a hero you <laughs> oh, are. Oh, yeah. And then got the, here at 2 in the morning. Yeah, then the uh, the microphones are all broke. I had to fix them. and uh, Save a baby. <laughs> yeah, save a baby. Yeah, there's <laughs> a wagon went crazy. I had to jump down on the horses and get <laughs> stuck. Oh, boy, good for yeah. you. Yeah, it's a busy day. Uh, time for some listener email. Mm-hmm. Hey, dude, I'm a 36-year-old, and I wanted to say holler at you, say happy 10th, might be time to get a real job soon, LOL. Uh, hey, just wanted to know if that chick from yesterday found a guy to hook up with, because I'd rock her bridge. <laughs> Can we be done with her? The orgasm chick? Yeah. Really? No, yeah. not, that, well, just today, you know. People, dude, it's hard. You know what, you know when you get addicted to something, you find it, you find, like, your... You're, fir- you're just so into it, mm-hmm. so you can't not have it. Yeah, yeah. It's like every. It's I all know. you can. It's, we've consumed Toronto with her, so no, I don't think we can. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. we can. <laughs> Good point. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, hey, Dean. Just wanted to wish you guys a happy 10th anniversary for the DBS. I was living in Ontario. You guys started up, and even though uh, I've been living in Nova Scotia for the past five years for school, I still listen to you guys, whether it's via podcast or online. Uh, thanks very much, Megan Robert. Isn't that nice? That's that's what amazes yeah. me is the lengths people go to to download a podcast because when I get home ain't no one in that house wants to hear from me at all <laughs> <laughs> well people say like they'll, they'll get the podcast and then if they didn't have a chance to listen in the morning they'll like, you know, listen to it plug in their iPod or whatever listen to it in the car on the way home or they're, whether they're taking a go train and then what also makes me the people that go overseas yeah, that was gonna and all that enough. stuff yeah. Yeah. yeah oh dude yeah when we went to Ireland for the Jameson uh, tour they, there was uh, 114 people that came to watch our show from around Canada to, uh, Europe wow. yeah I think we even had some people from Japan. Or maybe they were broadcasting. 
Yeah. Anyway, they watch it. <laughs> yeah. Can't take credit for that. Uh, morning, guys. Congratulations on 10 years of the Edge. I've been listening since 2007, and uh, I wish I started listening long before that. Your show's helped me get through many mornings at work, and I wanted to thank you for that. I have had more than one instance where I've been in tears and truly appreciate it. Uh, it's been a pleasure listening to you two gentlemen over the past years. Derek's edition was a perfect decision. Oh. Perfect. Did you hear that? You're perfect. We couldn't agree less. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it if is, he's perfect, uh, he'd have a hundred percent vision. Yeah, <laughs> I'm eighty-five off. <laughs> Uh, please thank all the people behind the scenes and uh, that helped make your morning show so successful as well, except for Metis. Thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Brings up a good point, which gets to our next email. Hey, guys, I've heard you say uh, what you've appreciated the most over the past 10 years. Can Metis tell us what he hasn't appreciated the most over <laughs> how long he's worked there? <laughs> which was five years this last Monday, so, you know, good work. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Making less than the poverty line. Five years. <laughs> Who's the dummy? <laughs> well, you always say, too, what he could have been. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A doctor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your least favorite. Least favorite. Um, the abortion thing. The penis thing. The... You're not getting it. Oh, you make them sound like they're terrible. They are terrible. <laughs> they're not terrible. They're jokes. Jokes are jokes. They're not, they're not... I don't really feel... Like, if you thought that I really think that your mom tried to abort you as a fetus with a coat hanger, you're crazy. Because I know that doesn't <laughs> happen in Canada. <laughs> in Trinidad. <laughs> Bangladesh. Trinidad. <laughs> Buffalo. Quebec. Oh, you don't want to talk about the Buffalo abortion. The Buffalo yeah, no. abortion is just where you punch yourself in the stomach. Oh. It's cheaper. Um. I, oh, you used to hit me a lot more. You don't hit me anymore, which is... I karate you sometimes. Sometimes. Dude, like, back. I can't believe you didn't mention the paddle. Cause the, well, I was... Oh, that, well, that was the next thing. Man. It was the paddle and the aquarium. The aquarium tubing was the worst because <laughs> it was like a whip. <laughs> <laughs> and it left the on my back. <laughs> that just sounds funny. <laughs> oh, I, I got him good, too. I just wheeled it. And then Dean felt bad and offered to drive me home. Well, correct. Correct yourself. No, you're right. He felt bad, so he offered... To, to drive myself home with his car. But who was in the passenger seat? You were. Yeah. Because I, I could read. <laughs> I was going to have a read. So I said, like, this is what it's like to be on the GO train, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I did. I felt bad, so I let him drive me home. Wow. Um, that nice? <laughs> there, was the, that too. there was what? There was the April Fool's maybe three, four years back. Oh, where we fired you. You fired me on it. You fired and me you started on crying. And I started crying. And we didn't let him in on it for like... <laughs> Two hours. So. It's your last day, man. Enjoy it. And the, the thing is, it was it was it wasn't because you were it crying too, yeah. or because yeah, you did. He totally believed it. Yeah, and it's not because we were being mean. It's because everything we were saying was validated. Yeah, like there was a. It wasn't like we were just making up an excuse to fire him. He kept, Where would, <laughs> yeah, he kept going. Reasons. Yeah, he kept going. <laughs> I, know, I, know, I, know, I know. I know. I know. I really appreciate <laughs> everything up to now. I'm so sorry. I'll do anything to I make know. it better. And he did. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. And uh, Dean, I've been listening since day one, which is April 23rd, 2001. I just wanted to know uh, what your favorite Edge file story from the past 10 years. Thanks for the 10 years of laughs. And Goatsies, Jeremy. Easily my favorite, I, I was, and I was just trying to look for it. it. It happened in Romania. A couple had been trying to conceive a child for 21 years. Do you remember this story, Dan? It was a long time. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Probably seven or eight years yeah. ago. They tried to conceive a child for about 20, 21 years. Mm -hmm. And they went to the doctor and like, you know, we're having some problems here. We can't, like, we've been really trying like 10 times a week. <laughs> you know, we, uh, we've been doing it. And like, I've been, you know, doing the bicycle kicks in the air. And the guy's like, I've been eating a cans of watermelon and celery and pineapple. <laughs> and <laughs> I've been pulling on it and tucking it and making it. I don't know what I'm going to do. Even so, picturing hot chicks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when they explained what they were doing with their doctor in the bedroom, the doctor informed them that uh, he needed to, quote, put it in the front Ooh. instead of the back. <laughs> 21 years he got to do that for without her knowing. How lucky was he? Wow. <laughs> Not only because he did that for wow. 21 years, but because he preserved the other one. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true, Master. Right, you were taking out of the wrapping. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, seriously. That was my favorite story <laughs> ever. Because like, you can see him going like this to the doctor. Yeah. Shh. <laughs> Say anything. 
<laughs> yeah. I don't even like you. You stupid idiot. Yeah. Strap on your party hat and get ready to blow some candles. It's the Dean Blundell Show's 10th birthday party. 102.1 The Edge. When radio people get together, mm. one of two things happens. They kill each other or they become fast friends. And this is uh, one of my very, very dear friends. And he works over across the hall at Q107. John Derringer, everybody. Wow. There will be no attempted homicide in here this morning. Now you guys, th- this must be Thursday because you're wearing your pants again. <laughs> so come on, seriously, what were the odds that you guys were going to make it through 10 years here? So, somebody, somebody in Vegas is making a ton today. Like, come on, seriously. I'm like a $5 bet. <laughs> $5 bet and he's cashing in for $12 million. <laughs> <laughs> Great odds. <laughs> yeah, for sure. The same guy actually is taking the Leafs to win the Stanley Cup next year. <laughs> so, well, congrats. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's, you know what? It's been nice. Uh, you know, we've we, you and I have worked together for almost the entire duration, 10 years in, in some capacity or another. And it's fun because uh, we, we mutually hate every other radio person the same. Pretty well. But somehow we get along <laughs> yeah. real well. No, yeah, that's a good point. No, there's actually a couple of people I like. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh wait. They're all in this room. Oh. <laughs> no, we like we no seriously. We we got to be honest. We do like John Oakley. Yeah, we do. And, well, because we work for the same company, and if we didn't, we'd just look like ragheads, right? We'd look like <laughs> morons. <laughs> He's a good guy, though, Oakley. For the most part, yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> I love him. I love, I love Oakley too. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but it's yeah. the trench coats that yeah. scare me. Well, you know what? I mean, the, the the worst look you can possibly come up with is a trench coat with a Toronto Blue Jays cap from 1977 on it, and shorts. Oh, that's a good look. You don't expect to show up with your picture in the post office while you're wearing that or, with the bubbles glasses. Or, yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say, or you end up with like Charlie Sheen. That's like the same outfit he wears. It's one or the other. Uh, well, we appreciate it, and yours uh, obviously is coming up pretty soon too. Yeah. No November, I think we're is it November, Chumley? Yeah, November. Wow. Oh, you got Ten a new years. name. Yeah. Chumley. 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 I thought it was Ryan. <laughs> Chumley. We na- we, the guy from Pawn Stars is actually named after this, Chumley. Oh, is he? He's <laughs> a good looking boy on, on Pawn Stars. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know I'd like oh. to take that guy in some kind of cardio oh. test. <laughs> I'd like to take him to a shower. Say, dude, like, seriously. <laughs> Come well, on, change that shirt. Well, congrats, boys. Appreciate you coming in. Yeah. 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 Fellas. Nice to see you. I, you know what the That's bad like part our... is? We now we've ruined his smoke break. Now he's got to wake. He's probably going to go on the air. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, two dragger. We're good to go. <laughs> I'm, sure, right. I'm, sure, I'm sure they could throw in another zeppelin and it'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it when the levee breaks. <laughs> yeah. We'll be back. All right. See you, folks. John Derringer, everybody. Q107. Awesome. Yeah, 718. Uh, time for another look at edge traffic. Just ahead of your decade in review. Not your week. Not your year. Sort of. It's the decade in review. There's stuff from every year that we've worked here. Is that correct? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff, believe it or not, from the very first show. Which I'm very embarrassed about. Yeah, Dude, you, you know what? You, don't you, be. In I, a way, you shouldn't no, be. Well. But in a way, you should. Because I loved your voice back then. Dude. Yeah, it was doing <laughs> fantastic. No, you, know, no you remind me of someone exactly. I don't yes. want to hear it. Because the first year, I didn't know what I was doing. So I had to put on a radio voice, and then I got so turned off by it, I quit it. <laughs> And it's funny because you I don't, don't even know if I can hear it. No, no, no. no you'll be great. fine with it. That's great. You might want to take off your coat. You'll probably sweat a little bit through it, though. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Ten years, man. Ten, ten years. The Dean Blundell Show's 10th birthday party. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Here's a birthday wish for you. My name's Ray. I want to say thanks to the big Dean Downfall. Okay, thanks, Ray. I think what he meant to say was uh, big congratulations to uh, the Dean Blundell Show, 10 years. Uh, so congratulations from uh, all the boys out at Old Rotney's from One Pug Life on the YouTube TV. Hope you don't deck her. Happy birthday, happy birthday. It's the Dean Blundell Show's 10th birthday party on 102.1. Happy birthday. The 10th anniversary special. Our, our good friends from McDonald's are walking around outside handing out coffee. Uh, and they just came inside and handed us a coffee. That was nice of them. It's good coffee. And Derek didn't, because he's blind, he didn't see the yellow M on the shirt. No, I just thought these people in red uniforms were coming in, <laughs> swarming our studio. I'm like, don't ask questions. Derek goes, <laughs> what's, what's going on with the guys in the red? Seven <laughs> thirty. Uh, your decade in review. Uh, it is our 10th anniversary today, so uh, we've had to comb. And Todd... Maybe you can describe some of the things in the era and 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 uh, and and because I, I don't even know if I can hear this one because our like our some of our very first radio breaks are on it and apparently I'm 
apparently it's cheesy. Well, it's like embarrassing, you know, when you I wasn't hear- going to say cheesy is the word. Embarrassing? I wasn't going to say embarrassing is my one word to describe it either. The word I was going to say is I can't believe we're still working here. <laughs> <laughs> So your decade <laughs> review is coming up uh, in just a few minutes. Hold on for that. Time for another look at Edge. Traffic. And she's sitting right next to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know what I sm- can. You smell so good. I oh, wow, you didn't, should have glittered up your hooters a little um, bit today. It's not going to happen. Some grease. I can go get some. No, no I'm Derek. good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you know? What? <laughs> yeah. It's the Dean Blundell Show's 10th birthday. We kindly ask that you don't buy any gifts for the boys. Although, from what we hear, Midas could use a pinch to grow an inch. The Dean Blundell Show's 10th birthday party on 102.1 The Edge. And now, the Dean Blundell Show presents The Week we, 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 in we, Review. We, 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 we. Yeah. It's true. We can review. Uh, uh. Hey, guess who just caught here? Who? Huh? Doo the clown. <laughs> Hi, Doo Doo. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, I'm not joking. Ten years we got Doo Doo. <laughs> <laughs> Our boss, Ross, came in and goes, oh, Hi there, doo-doo. <laughs> <laughs> like, he was, like he was walking in his backyard and saw a turd. And he was like, Oh, hey, doo-doo. <laughs> Where did you come from? Yeah, look at you, you brown dude. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, so he's going to be... Folks, come on down. You can meet doo-doo the clown. McDonald's is handing out coffee outside. We've got some cake and uh, some other things. USS performing live here later on this morning as well. I'd uh, love for you to join us for the 10th anniversary. And uh, speaking of anniversaries... Ten years go by, uh, and and we have archives, and some of these uh, archives from the decade in review are from our. Correct me if I'm wrong. Our very first show is that right? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow! No, yeah, this that sort of takes you back through the first show, a lot of the first show, and then just sort of a lot of the casting characters throughout. I'm sickly nervous. By how no, I think you'll like cheesy this will sound. Really? Oh yeah. You'll, you'll. To be honest, it hasn't changed much. <laughs> like it's good. Really? No, it's like it made me. <laughs> I was laughing that in a good way. I was laughing so hard. Mm. Uh oh, I think I worked my last day. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't know. It's good. I'm All right. Dude, it's funny. Okay. It's real. Dude, Piker Porn kills it. Is it really? <laughs> Remember we did that contest? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, yeah. This is a clip from a fishing show or a chick getting it. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> Here's your... Uh, don't laugh. Your decade in review. Now let's introduce a new concept. messages for Dean. He's a very strange young man. Dean. He's an idiot. Dean. He's an idiot. Dean. I want to be just like you. Yeah. That's nice, isn't it? Isn't that a nice way to introduce myself, calling me an idiot? It's uh, a dawn of a new day here at New Rock Edge 102. My name is Dean Blundell. I've got a clean slate, baby. We are the transitional team. There's a new sheriff in town, cowboy. Because in six months, <laughs> the, the real team's coming. My name is Chief Men Hi, Chief. Yeah. Oh, hey. It's time for lesbian Lou. Everybody loves a lesbian baby. Hey, bud, what's up? How's it going, man? Nikki's here. Good morning, Nikki. Good, Good morning. morning, everybody. Our resident hypnotist, yeah. Dave Curran, everybody. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Turn on his microphone, you stupid idiot. Roses are red. <laughs> uh, they're blue. So are my nards, because I'm thinking about you. Roses are red. Violets, they hang. My name's Adrian. I don't like the wang. <laughs> you put him in the freezer. Poor guy. What's his name? Meat. <laughs> hey, we don't want him having kids anyway, so it's a good thing. He's true by the sailor man. I don't know. I didn't think about it. He's true by the sailor man. So he doesn't look like Spark, but he gobbles. He's true by the sailor man. Strangely enough, I'm okay with it. Really neat game. It's called the Bad Touch. See, I'm surprised by 102.1. I really thought your standards were higher than that. Your little something, something out of your pants. Invertently touch it to as many people as you can. I think this might be a radio first because you've uh-huh. actually received your first hate mail. Right. 
uh, two days before you actually went on the air. So here it goes. Time for a new feature called Dean's Big Bag. We're going to play Piper <laughs> Porn. This is a brand new contest, folks. The, the luxury of being on the phone with us, uh, whether it is a luxury or not, we still don't know. That's the good news. Our oh. bitch slapping posse. Squiggy, oh. uh, a.k.a. Todd, so the squigster, is going to play Lick It for Tickets. we got a ton of stuff going on this morning. And if he doesn't lick it, we give you the ticket. Whose snapper is this? Piper <laughs> Porn. I think I slammed it through the back. Hey, where did this blood come from? Put my rod in the same box for over 20 years. Is it Piker Porn? So I've, I've already ditched one listener forever. So your edge files forever. The hell day it is in April of the year 2001. It's a tragedy for me and my whole family. The existence of child slavery uh, shakes me to my very... Actually, hang on. The existence of child slavery shakes me to my very core. Hey, you just finished work. you got a coffee in your hand. You're ready to have uh, Todd, a.k.a. Squiggy... <laughs> Lick something. Usually comes back with a lot more sympathy and a couple of phone numbers. Is he really an intern? Because he gets paid. Are you? No, you're no. An intern, I'm an employee. You're, you're an employee. What, yes. What's your title then? Uh, promotions guy, I guess. Promotions guy. How badly do you want to go to Edge Fest, man? I'd love to go to really? Edge Fest. Right. I don't know about. If he's Are you going to go. lick the sock? Can you just get me a puke bucket in case? The sock that I've worked in. Bring it on. And I've sweat profusely. Why have you had them on since Thursday? Just because I'm lazy. That's it's disgusting. easy. <laughs> I feel sorry for you, not so, me. Uh, I like the shoe. Oh, Jesus. Tim can't go. I like the shoe. You know what's funny is I tasted the onion, but there was no cheese in sight. What do you have for me? Took some scissors and cut some of my pubic hair. I will give you one million dollars if you lick those. Uh, You're going to give me one million? I doubt that. Not on a radio salary. Yeah, but yeah. Did he? I like that. I like that. I saved my bleep. So you know what you should do is you should edit some of your home movies in there. We're doing a fight club thing. One frame. Really? Yeah. Boom. Shareholders sitting around yeah. going, I'm watching uh, The Day in the Life of Radio. Gagne. What's his name? Gagne. The pro's concentrating, Vince Carter, and uh, I say the pro is he he's a baby. The con is there, there is none. The only con in that trade is his brother. Hi, Bobby. <laughs> Hi, Bobby. Will you, will you smell my finger? You had this trip in the dog. Will you smell my liner? The little bit of Oh. In your face. I love you. Crawl on the floor. You want me to crawl on the floor? Okay. Oh, go like this. I love you so much. I love you too. It's true. You're lying. You're lying. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why do you do this? You come on the radio every day. Three girls at the same time. No. Would you have more than one opportunity? They're listening. Oh, there's a broomstick in front. Does that imply that they're just cleaning? Or it implies that the hubby and wife got into the funky stuff last night. Someone there? Hi, good morning, trick or treat. Oh, do you have any candy? Some Prozac? Good luck. Okay, the broomstick's in front. I don't know if you're going to the witch this Halloween. Look inside at last night's Christmas party. This is a great moment of my life. I get to interview the one and only, the Dean Blundell. How you doing, man? Being mm. stupid. Your name is <laughs> Jim Gould. I'm Ben Marudi. How's everyone doing? <laughs> that wax is being applied. Ready? No. Pull it. Pull it. Oh. Oh. Gentlemen, welcome back to our program on a very permanent basis. Derek Welshman. We have uh, looked high and low. To bring back the blind movie review. actually round two for me because we landed at 228 and there was nobody there. The more dysfunctional your child is, he has a brighter and bigger career in radio than you could possibly just drop him off right here. Edge 102. I was at the soup kitchen yesterday serving some 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 needy people and I said, I don't have time. I'm tending to injuries. I find that hard to believe anyone would call you an a-hole. My father got into radio and I swore I'd never do this, but now I am. <laughs> so I'm going to say some really disparaging thing in the next, like, few minutes. You must be open to hmm sex. You like to get tag-teamed while you do it. Also be able to fake a hmm, that's a plus. See how well we'd get along <laughs> yeah, right. if we did that. <laughs> Days go by where we regret the life we didn't lead. Days go by and weeks happen. Months pass us by. Years? And turn into years. <laughs> And that's time, man. That's how time works. Wait, wait. Sorry. Were we premature? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, that doesn't even happen. What are you sorry about? I got a fallen bone right now. You have some tremors. You having tremors? tremors? Multiple. Oh my God. You are still turned. You're still going. Oh my heart. It's like a punani tsunami. <laughs> Roll around in the hay. I say, let him free. 
Let them go. <laughs> Don't store whores in your barn, for God's sake. Would you like me to finish? Okay. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yeah, that's right. Pretty good time over here. The Dean Blundell Show's 10th birthday party. It's my B-Day. I want it all in the broccoli. On 102.1 The Edge.